Hi, so I'm going to show you a demo for your first flipped classroom. I call it Flipped Classroom Zero because I like to start things at zero because I program a lot. And uh, it's a, a fairly simple um, exercise that is 100% layout. There is no code to be written. And what we have for a layout is we have <clears throat> excuse me, two buttons here. We have text in the center. And we have three buttons on the uh, sorry, two buttons on the bottom uh, that are spaced out. And here's something very exciting. If we go up here and we change the phone from portrait to landscape mode, you'll see uh, a couple of things. One, this button moves over to take over the entire uh, region and uh, just has this uh, little button. And then these two buttons on the bottom are evenly spaced and the text stays in the center. Okay. Um, in, uh, that's the constraint-based layout. The linear layout, oh, that was a hint, uh, is a little bit different. Here, button one is two-thirds of the screen, and button two is one-third of the screen. And then button three and button four are sort of centered but separate. And it doesn't, these are the different phone types. It doesn't really matter for this uh, exercise exactly what phone type you have, but you may as well keep it on the on the phone type for the that, that we do for everything in this class. And then when we go to layout, so um, for the constraint-based layout, button one sort of took up uh, the entire uh, range of the phone um, and and crowded button two out. Here, the proportion stays the same. Button two is two thirds. Sorry, button one is two thirds, button two is one third of the screen, and uh, buttons three and four are centered and separated uh, at the bottom. Although, uh, in this case, they are uh, separated by a sort of a fixed amount. And I say in the instructions, there are different ways you can achieve this with a linear layout. You can do it with an invisible button, which is the easiest way to do it. Um, but there's an even more clever way of doing nested linear layouts to get this effect, and uh, that's, the, that's the way to get full credit for, for this assignment. Good luck.